Jeez. Well, the whole internet is currently losing its mind over Luigi's <laughs> um, warp pipe in Mario Tennis Aces. I'm here to remind you that this isn't the first time Mario games have featured anything um, south of the border. Lest we forget this odd geologic structure from Mario Kart Double Dash right there on the sandy shores of Peach Beach. You'll never power slide under that arch the same way again. Internet, welcome to Game Theory, the show that everyone erroneously presumes is meant for kids, despite the fact that we talk about murdered children every other episode. But today, we're breaking from tradition and going back, way back to the earliest days of this show, to a time when I had much more questionable taste in episode topics, to a time six years ago when I jokingly promised to make up for the boobs episode with a video like this, and yet, here we are, 2018, and a legitimate topic being discussed discussed online is Luigi's Short Bulge. It's true. If you hadn't heard, in mid-March, Nintendo released promotional images for Mario Tennis Aces, specifically one of Luigi. Immediately, and I mean immediately, the internet noticed that there were some weird shadows hanging around in Luigi's undercarriage, when normally it's just a whole lot of smooth sailing down there. Was this just awkward rendering with new high-res lighting effects, or was there more to it than meets the eye down there? Who knows? Who cares? It's time to jump to conclusions and immediately start measuring. Tumblr user 428 raced in and using the tennis racket in Luigi's hand as a guide, immediately deduced that Luigi's power shroom measured in at 3.7 inches or 9.4 centimeters in length. And can I just say this again? It is scary how fast the internet turned their attention to the crotch of this sexless video game character. Now, you might be asking yourself, why the heck am I even talking about this? And, uh, well, that's a really good question, actually. It's something I'm left to ask myself literally every single day. But as the internet's pioneer of pixel measurements, whenever someone online starts rattling off the heights, or in this case, lengths, of Nintendo characters, I'm called in like a nerdier version of Snopes. And let me say this, if we're looking to determine whether Luigi's manhood is more of a shy guy or a giga Bowser, there's a bit more work that needs to be done here. So in honor of April Fool's Day, while all the other channels are just coming up with some stupid clickbait video or link prank, I'm gonna do the same thing I always do, overthink and overanalyze, but this time it's on something that's even dumber than normal, coming to an accurate conclusion on Luigi's Little Wiggler. Let's start by looking at the work that 428 did. Now, this may come as a surprise to you, but over the course of the last 214 episodes, I may have made the occasional teeny tiny mistake or slightly silly assumption. Hey, get, get out of here, Wario! You too, Sonic. I even gave you a longer stride length so you don't have any reason to complain. But taking chances, making mistakes, and getting messy is all about learning, growing, and recognizing those same pitfalls later in life. And the one thing that I know for certain at this point is that you can't presume that the world of Mario is using standard sized anything, let alone standard sized tennis rackets. And this is exactly where 428's math goes a little off the rails, by assuming Luigi is holding a normal sized racket. Nope, when you're dealing in the Mushroom Kingdom, there's only one true ruler that we can go by, Mr. Sociopath himself, Mario Jumpman Mario. You see, as loyal theorists probably know by heart at this point, Mario has a cannon height of 155 centimeters, or just over 5 foot 1 inch. This means that if we can get Mario next to anything in his world, we can measure it pretty darn accurately. And since we're analyzing a tennis game, what better game to compare the heights of the Mario Brothers than Mario Power Tennis? It's a game where we get plenty of shots of Mario alongside his brother, including my all-time favorite Mario moment. And if you think that's bad, I found a Mario moment that tops it. But, uh, more on that one later. Using pixel-precise measurements from a variety of different cutscenes throughout the game, as well as this image of the standard Mario height chart, we can determine that Luigi is, on average, 12% taller than Mario, putting him at a whopping 1.736 meters, or 5 foot 8 inches. Yeah not really that tall. Now here is where the fun part really begins. Using those updated numbers, we can apply our updated and canon-approved pixel ruler to the PD Piranha and Luigi's pants. By measuring out the length of the ball 
bulge as indicated by the shadow on his shorts, it gives us a length of 10.85 centimeters or 4.3 inches. It's definitely a bit more mega mushroom than the internet was leading us to believe, but wait, it doesn't end there. Because we actually have to adjust the way that we're handling Luigi's one-eyed cobra at. Handling his one-eyed, oh, ooh, hey, probably could have phrased that one a little bit better. You see, there's a scientific standard for measuring ye old dingle hopper, and it involves beginning the measurements at the pubic bone. The pubic bone is protected by the mons pubis, a layer of skin and adipose tissue, the scientific appropriate word for fat. In general, women have a thicker mon than a man's mon, but none can compare to a Pokemon. Since our measurements are from the outside of Luigi's mons pubis, and in fact from outside his pants as a whole, we gotta factor all those numbers into our calculations. Now, men typically have a half inch of this adipose tissue to be added onto whatever you can see on the outside, which gives us a total length of 12.168 centimeters, or over 4.8 inches for Luigi. Oh, and uh, by the way, congratulations to all you fellows out there who know you're gonna try this at home after the episode ends. Don't pretend that you won't. Just be happy that now you know it's scientifically appropriate to add on a half inch to your ruler measurements. Men of the world rejoice! It's like getting that last bonus star for your pants. But before you go running off with your tape measures, we're not quite done with Luigi yet. The last thing we gotta do is subtract off a total of three millimeters from the measurements we just took to account for the thickness of typical gym shorts and whatever underoos Luigi's sporting down there. That leaves our final total at 11.858 centimeters or 4.66 inches. Ta-da! Mom, are you proud of me? Wait, I hear your rumblings in the comments. Y you want more? What? We calculated the length of Luigi's little Goomba. I'm scarred enough from staring my childhood heroes in the crotch for the last three hours. What else do you want from me? You, you, you want to know what? Oh, oh, it's the big ticket you're interested in. When Luigi's flying down on the rainbow road of love, what's going on when he's revving it up to 150 cc's? Jeez, this is a man's private information. I should send you out of this video right now. But since you asked, I was curious too. So of course I did the calculations to see if Luigi would still measure up, or if when it counts, his manhood just ends up being in another castle. It turns out that there's a massive variation in the length of your pocket rocket when it, in fact, chooses to blast off again. And we know this when we say that guys are either showers, out there like a chain chomp for the world to see, or growers, the shy guys of the anatomical mushroom kingdom. Now, Luigi could fall into either camp, so we won't be able to pin down an exact number, but we will be able to get the range here. Both growers and showers end up getting bigger in, um, preparation for the final boss, but for some, that one-up mushroom just makes a bigger difference, so to speak. For showers, on average, they're putting on an extra 10% in length, which means that at the very, very least, Luigi's achieving 5% three inches, but lucky Luigi, 79% of men are growers, which means statistically he's likely to get even more star power out of his big moments. Growers gain, on average, 50% length, which, boy howdy, means that Luigi's looking at a total of 6.99, the heck, let's just round it up to 7 total inches, or 17.78 centimeters. Well above average, according to the British Journal of Urology study last year that found that the average length of a man's disco stick is about 5.2 inches. It's, uh, it's no wonder that Daisy sticks around. So there you have it. Add this one to your fan wikis. The official size of Luigi's plunger goes from a floppy 4.6 to a firm 5.1 on the low end, 7 on the high. Now, I know those numbers might seem a bit flaccid, but throw me a bone here. Calculating this was a hard one. But call me Viagra because I am still going strong. Because there's one final question I'm sure you all have on your minds. How does Mario compare? Unfortunately, the promo art for Mario Tennis Aces doesn't have as many suspicious shadows in Mario's pants, meaning we can't go through the exact same level of calculations here. Fortunately for us, though, we wouldn't need to anyway, because Mario hasn't been shy to be seen naked in his past. And I'm not talking about some questionable deviant art pages of the Rule 34 website, I'm talking in an official Nintendo release. You don't believe me? Then feast your eyes on the official Nintendo manga simply titled Super Mario, but known amongst fans as KC Mario, published way back in 1980. Volume 1 covers part 1 of the Super Mario Land saga, with Mario fighting off the villains of Sarasa Land led by the evil alien Tatanga. On page 52, we see Mario get bitten by a fishbone, only to get sent out of his overalls, and then turning the page, there he is, page 53, waving his pants in the air like he just don't care. And in the process, we confirm two things. One, that Mario apparently isn't just a plumber, he's going full commando. And two, that Mario doesn't got himself a lovely bunch of coconuts. In fact, Mario
Mario's big toe is bigger than his dangling hammer, bro. I ran the numbers because of course I did, and Mario's little cannoli clocks in at around two and a half inches, 6.3 centimeters, and to be quite honest with you, that is me being extremely generous with those numbers. And maybe, just maybe, this stupid episode by some miracle turned out to explain a lot more than I initially anticipated about this franchise. With a size difference like that, it's no wonder Mario is aggressive, mean, and dismissive of his brother. He's jealous. Not only does Luigi have the superior jump, he's also apparently got the superior lump. It may also explain Mario's hero complex. He may not be feeling too super in the sheets, so he resorts to being super on the streets. And who knows, it may even explain Peach's continued avoidance of her poorly proportioned plumber. A former theory of mine did guess that she winds up with Luigi in the end anyway. So there you have it. Luigi, the super powerful half a billionaire who winds up with a girl and has an enormous... Yahoo! Man, looking back at all my theories on him, Luigi really does come out on top. But hey, that's just a theory. A game theory. And cut. Off those unsightly facial hairs with Dollar Shave Club. <laughs> And here you all probably thought that I messed up and was doing the film theory outro. Nope! Today's episode is sponsored by Dollar Shave Club, a longtime supporter of us theorists as well as many of your other favorite online creators. Even a lot of podcasts. It's because of their support that we're able to do things like the live stream. So remember, when you support them, you're also supporting us. But honestly, why wouldn't you want to join their club anyway? They send you the highest quality shaving products right to your door for the lowest prices around. I use them on my face, Steph uses them on her legs, heck, this whole episode was dedicated to your tall, tall mountain, so use them to clean up that rainbow ride of yours. And best of all, they have an exclusive offer just for you theorists. For a limited time, new members to the club can get their shower, shave, and wow. starter set for only $5. That includes their executive razor and full cassette of cartridges, a razor that is so good it would make Sweeney Todd jealous. Plus, this special offer has three trial-sized versions of their most popular products, the shave butter, the body wash, and the butt wipes. Truth be told, the wipes kind of freak me out since, you know, moist things touching my butt is still a bit of an adjustment to make, but that shave butter is deliciously smooth, and the body wash will have you sexier than a 5 foot 8 inch green clad plumber. After the first box, replacement cartridges are sent to you for only a few bucks a month, so you'll never have to go to the store and deal with those surly better than thou cashiers ever again. Remember, this offer is only available right here, right now, at dollarshaveclub.com slash matpat. Get that sexy Luigi smoothness for a fraction of what it would cost in stores. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash M-A-T P-A-T. Or just dingle hop your way down to the link in the description. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to go watch some cat videos to serve as eye bleach. I've been staring way too long at the undercarriages of Nintendo characters. If you're interested in any of our past theories on the lord of all that is Luigi, click that eye icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen for a full list. And I'll see you all next week for something that's probably a little bit more mature. Probably.